When getting into FPV, one of the hidden costs for new pilots will be LiPo batteries. Many new flyers might assume that batteries are a one-time purchase, but they have a lifespan and need to be replaced from time to time. How you charge, discharge, handle, and store your batteries can be the difference in getting a couple dozen flights or a couple hundred. Learning how to properly charge your LiPo batteries is the first step in proper battery care. While many modern chargers are a smart design that automatically uses the best charging rate, some let you change this setting. Higher charge rates can decrease the life of a battery, meaning fewer flights over the long term. It is also important to use balancing chargers designed for LiPos when charging multi-cell LiPo batteries. With multi-cell LiPos, there sometimes is a chance that one of the cells will have a different voltage than the others. Cells can go bad, and overdraining a battery can sometimes cause an imbalance. A balancing charger will detect this and charge the cells to the same voltage. There are several voltages you should know about when dealing with LiPos. Knowing these can help extend the life of your batteries. The first is the nominal voltage of a cell, which is 3.7 volts. This is the voltage generally printed on the front of a LiPo. 3.7 volts for a 1S battery, 7.4 for a 2S, and so on. The second voltage you should know is the peak, fully charged voltage of 4.2 volts per cell. This is the max voltage that most LiPo balancing charges are set to. Charging beyond 4.2 volts per cell is not recommended and can actually be dangerous. There is also a minimum for each cell, which is 3 volts, and this is where the life of your batteries can really be affected. Running your batteries low is one of the most detrimental things for your battery life. The closer to 3 volts you drain your battery, the fewer cycles you will likely get out of it. Many drones have a low battery cutoff at around 3.5 volts, and we don't recommend going any lower than this. It is best to land well before this to extend your battery life and get more cycles out of it. Pushing your battery past its max discharge rate can also decrease the battery life. Some batteries will have a C rating printed on the packaging. This lets you know the continuous and or max discharge rate of the battery for a short burst. This is key. Pushing your quad to full throttle for a few seconds isn't a problem, but doing this often for extended periods of time can dramatically reduce the life of the battery. Push a battery too much and it can even overheat, puff up, and damage the battery permanently. Another good voltage to know is called the storage voltage, and this is typically around 3.8 volts per cell. If you are storing your batteries for a period of time or aren't sure when you'll be flying again, it is good practice to charge them to storage voltage. This balances the cells and puts the battery in a stable state. Most drone batteries are shipped with a storage charge on them. Batteries that are stored fully charged or at a low charge are more prone to failure or decreases in service life. Heat can also negatively affect the life of your LiPo batteries. Pushing a battery to its limits on really hot days or recharging a battery that is still hot from use are both ways in which a battery's life can be shortened. Avoid leaving LiPos in a really hot car for extended periods of time. In most cases, try and have them at room temperature when it is time to charge them. Things that shorten the life of your battery, such as overdraining, excessive heat, or pushing them too hard, cause the internal resistance of a battery to increase. As such, the internal resistance is usually a good indicator of battery health. Some chargers have the option to measure the internal resistance, or an external ESR meter can also be used. LiPo safety is an area of concern. LiPo batteries can be a safety hazard when not properly charged or stored. Always make sure to physically inspect your batteries before charging or using them, checking for punctures or bare wires. Be especially on the lookout for puffy or expanding batteries. This can be a sign of a battery that is damaged internally or out of balance chemically and can be caused by heat, overcharging, or physical damage from a crash. We also highly recommend using so-called LipoGuard bags when charging a battery or for storage. In the event of a battery failure, these bags can help contain a fire or chemical reaction. Always have these on a non-flammable surface when charging, preferably outside the house. Ammo boxes have also become popular for this purpose as well. Do not ever leave LiPo batteries charging unattended. Make sure to disconnect them from the charger and store properly when leaving the house or going to bed. Most mishaps with LiPo batteries happen while they are charging. Also, it is a good idea to keep a fire extinguisher on hand. It's also not a bad idea to have one when going out to fly. We like to keep a small one in the car just in case of a mishap when out flying a pack. So what do you do with a bad or damaged LiPo? 
the first thing you should do is drain all the cells completely to zero. One way to do this is by connecting it to a bulb or resistor and leaving it connected until the cells are totally drained. Once at zero volts, it is inert and safe for disposal. While they can be put in the regular trash when discharged, we prefer to drop them off at a battery recycling center. Do not ever throw away a battery with a charge. Also, do not ever intentionally damage or puncture the outer packaging of a LiPo. This can sometimes cause an explosive reaction and can be very dangerous. Follow all these tips and you will get the most out of your LiPo batteries, prolonging their life and keeping you flying safely. Check out the Drone Racing International FPV Facebook forum to ask other pilots questions or post an FPV video. Go to shop.dronecopia.com to shop for drones and drone accessories. Check out the description for links. Most of all, happy flying.